opinion, but while there seems to be little enthusiasm for Theresa May's deal, there's also little support for a leadership challenge. As one constituency party chairman said to me, it's not a good deal, but it's the only deal. We need to plough on. But some MPs disagree. This letter expresses no confidence in the Prime Minister. Over the weekend, Conservative MPs will take soundings, as we call it. They'll consult with their local party workers in their constituencies and ask them what they think they should do. This is the man who received any letters calling for votes of real confidence. Supreme Brady will hold a ballot of MPs on Theresa May's future with 48 of his colleagues call for it. But what do his constituents in Cheshire think? I think she's done very well to get this far. I don't think anybody else could have done it any better. It's everybody trying to stab her in the back to get further on in their careers, and I don't think they're going to do it. But it's our party and not the public that will decide if Theresa May remains as Prime Minister. In Watson, BBC News. President Trump has arrived in California, where he's due to meet officials, firefighters, and some of those affected by the most devastating wildfires in the state's history. More than 70 people have been known to have died, and over a thousand are missing. The town of Paradise is one of the worst hit areas, where hundreds of residents are sheltering in tents and cars. Well, our correspondent, Dan Johnson, is there for us now. Dan, what reception is the president likely to get? Well, he heads here saying that he stands with the people of California, but apparently not all of the people here are with him because, as is so often the case, the president was divisive and controversial first, supportive and unifying second. His initial response was to blame these fires on gross forestry mismanagement, and he even threatened... ...and that Northern are taking industrial action. In the continuing dispute over the role of guards on trains, Northern says just 30% of its services are running. More than 100,000 people have been blocking roads across France in protest at rising fuel taxes. The government has promised that the police will prevent the country being brought to a standstill. One person was killed in an accident and a motorist tried to drive through a blockade. Dozens of people around the country have been injured. Now, US media is reporting that the CIA believes the Saudi Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman did order the murder of the journalist Jamal Khashoggi. He was killed last month while visiting the Saudi consulate in Istanbul. Saudi Arabia has called the latest claims false and insists that the Crown Prince knew nothing about the plans for the murder. Good cricketers Not need three more wickets for victory in the mm. second test in Sri Lanka after a topsy-turvy fourth day in Kandy. They set the home side 301 to win and reduced them to 226 for seven before rain stopped to play. Here's Patrick Keith. Test cricket can appear a very gentle game, but it can change direction suddenly and brutally, especially on a pitch like this, especially with a bowler like Jack Leach. Ben Burke's sharp work got rid of cultural silver. Sometimes the reactions involved are so fast we can barely see them. Somehow, Keaton Jennings on the right of screen knew where this was going. Somehow, he caught it, all in a fraction of a second. Leach suckered another, Sri Lanka 26 for three, chasing 301. Dimuth Kriyaratna rebuilt carefully until another sudden jolt. Jennings again. You need the replay to appreciate his brilliance. Unable to catch it himself, he made sure folks could. Kriyaratna caught by committee. Battling against the tide, Angelo Matthews dropped for lack of fitness earlier this I year, but showing plenty of stamina Lydia. this time. He took his team more than halfway to their time. With sweeping support that, from Mirashan and Miguel Bati, Sri Lanka needed just 82 for victory, well. five were kicked in hand from Jinnah. Owen Ali's response was, well, back, they would that? come back. Matthews out almost immediately Olivia. after the interval. The pendulum so swung back, or rather spun back. It was England's spinners making the difference. I presume you said no. No, I said I want you to come back tonight. England should win this game. Yeah. Well, I don't. I've already said that she was there. I mean, what are they going to be doing? Wales are 